Hi, this is Munson with Munson Music. I want to talk about how you could play a song called I'm So Lonesome I Could Cry by Hank Williams. And it starts out with kind of an intro part around an E major chord. And we play E major. First finger you get is the G string on the first fret, second finger on the A string, second fret, and third finger on the D string on the second fret. And if you strum all those together, that sounds an E major chord and it sounds really, really happy. And then from the E major, we're going to be going to a B7 chord. chord. And we play B7. First finger you get is the D on the first fret, second finger on the A string, second fret, third finger on the G string, second fret, and the pinky on the high E string, second fret. And if you strum the A string to the high E string, that sounds a B7 chord and it sounds really, really nasty. And then from the B7 on our intro, we go back to our E major, and then we do another E major. Now through the song, it's kind of a 3-4 waltz, so you're kind of doing three down taps for each chord. So you may want to kind of try just a one, two, three, one, two, three with down strokes. And I'm adding a little bit of muting in with that. So if we took that idea and tried through that intro, you'd have the E, two, three, B7, two, three. Of times with a 3-4 though, I like to use something called a strum pattern. And one of my favorite strum patterns for a 3-4 like this is down, down, up, down, up. So we took the E and just tried that a lot. You have down, 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 down. So we tried that through the intro. You'd have the E, down, through that part though where if you want to kind of follow those you could start second on the A, fourth fret on the A, first fret on the D, and then second fret on the D, and then kind of do the E major with kind of two downs, and then go to the A string for a first fret, second fret, and then the B7 for two downs, and then we go to the D string first fret to second fret, and then E major with two downs, and then do that one two lick again into an E. And then you'll hear 2nd fret on the A, 4th fret on the low E, 2nd on the A, to kind of lead into our 1st our first, first chorus. So you have 2, 4, 1, 2, E, E, 1, 2, B7, 1, 2, E, E, 1, 2, E, 2, 4, 2, to kind of lead into our, our verse part. And our verse starts out with E major four times, and then we do another two E majors, and then you may want to make a change to an E7 chord lift off the third finger of the E major chord, and that sounds an E dominant 7, or E7 chord, it sounds really nasty. Or you can even take the pinky and kind of add it in on the B string on the third fret, that's another way you may want to play your E7 through the song. And then from the E7, we'll be going to an A major, we play A major. First finger goes the D on the second fret, second finger on the G string, second fret, and third finger on the B string, second fret, and if you strum all those together, that sounds an A major chord and it sounds really happy. Now you may also dig on kind of an A7 chord, where if you lift off the second finger, that sounds an A dominant 7. Or you could even kind of take the second finger and kind of readjust it and then add in the pinky or the, th or the third finger on the high E on the third fret to come from the A7 chord. And then from the A, we go back to our E major, and then we do another E, and then another E, and then a B7, and then back to E, and another E. So we tried that first chorus with kind of our three down idea. We'd have E, 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 two, three, E, two, three, E, seven, two, three, E, seven, A, E, seven, E, E, two, three, E, seven, two, three, E, two, three, E, two, three. And then from there, then we'd be repeating our verse chorus. Now we could try that with the down, down, up, down, up. And then we'd have the E, down, down, E, Now something else I think about adding to the song though is bass notes, and a lot of times on that first down, up and down, down, up, down, up, you can throw in a bass for the chord. So on the E, you have the low E for your bass. On the B7, you have the A for the bass, down, up, down, the bass, down, up, down, up, and on the A, you have the A for the bass. So we try the next verse.
first chorus with a bass down and down. We have E with the bass down, 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 bass down, down, down. tune like this though what the bass player actually plays is kind of what's called the root of the chord which is what we're using for our bass note right now but a lot of times they'll alternate that with something called the fifth of the chords on the E note for instance E F G A B a B note is what we call the fifth so you could kind of alternate too between the low E string for your bass and the A string for your bass and that can be kind of a cool way to do kind of a country waltz idea and then on the A chord you have the A string for your root and then your low E would be Seven, you can do the A on the second fret, the low E string on the second fret for an F sharp note. So you kind of move the second finger from the A string to the low E string second, kind of for those bass notes. So we try that through our next verse chorus. We have the E. What you may want to do is kind of take all these ideas and kind of alternate between them. It can be kind of a cool idea too, you know, kind of mixing it up. It can be kind of a cool way to kind of do the song too. So you may want to kind of take away the kind of words for doing kind of run. From there, then we go into kind of our last verse chorus. So E. How you get strung through? I'm so lonesome, I sick, I could cry. I hate Williams. So good luck.